This video is a second part with Martin. So in this video, we'll cover about cardio, how to motivate yourself, about strongman, uh, polykin supplement and Paul check. Who are they? Why people buy their supplements and why a lot of bodybuilders are addicted to polykin and Paul check. So stay with me and watch to the end. If you haven't watched the part one, please watch the part one and then come back and watch the part two or just stay and enjoy the video. Mm. And there was a time where everyone was about Polykin. Can you explain who is he and why people like his supplements and a training approach? Our colleagues who used to buy lots of supplements uh, for 500 pounds a month, he would mm. buy just in bulk from him. So uh, have you got addicted to Polykin supplements? No, I haven't actually. I, I got his uh, BCAAs, but it didn't work for me. So well, like for others, again, everything is individual. Yeah, it was just passion. Before it used to be Paul Czech, who was more spiritual, and now yeah, I'm more Paul inclined to yeah. actually, because he's very spiritual and very, um, very intelligent man. And he does all this holistic approach to whole wellness. Um, but at that time, because I was very physical, I was a young guy and full of testosterone. So I wanted to be as strong as possible, as big as possible. Uh, so Polykin was uh, kind of a uh, good, uh, good coach and a uh, good attraction because uh, Polykin, uh, Charles Polykin was one of the best strength coaches on the planet who took a lot of, uh, who learned a lot of uh, principles from uh, Eastern Bloc, uh, from the top athletes. And um, he was a great businessman as well. He was very interesting to, uh, Character, very interesting person. Some guys were like completely addicted to him. It was full of like a sect. They call them like a polykin sect, right? So yeah, like right. now COVID sect. <laughs> so it's, it's the, yeah. 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 So, uh, so on the days when you feel you don't want to train, uh, you don't want to eat healthy, you want maybe pizza or something like junk food, you feel uh, basically you don't feel anything and you are like this. How do you motivate yourself? What do you do? Say, what do you do and say, okay, get up, Martin, start training, you're fat, start training, or how do you motivate? Do, do you say anything, something like this to yourself or no? It's a great question, Alvina. Um, yeah, I mean, like, like everybody, you know, sometimes we are prone to be lazy. And um, uh, the, the best is to create the rituals, right? Daily rituals. So I wake up every morning at five o'clock and I have coach how walking outside, breathing techniques. But I include now a lot of wellness stuff and spiritual stuff. But as for training, uh, the best way is to just do action. Just do that. Uh, because more you will think about how I don't feel to do that and I don't have excuses, uh, many times from sometimes, you'll be never, right? Yeah, and, that's fine. Yeah, so the best way, the best cure for anything, fear for laziness is action. But the most important is action. Just doing it regularly, getting used to it, and then create the, the habit of a healthy lifestyle to have it like a just... Is it any way we, uh, you can, if you do it for a certain period of time, like waking up in the morning, uh, do you get used to it or you still have to drag yourself out of the bed and say, no, come on, Martin, go on and just go, or you're just doing this now on an autopilot? Uh, well, sometimes we have days that we don't feel like to do it, but uh, as we know, our brain, you know, keeps us safe. Our brain always will keep will tell us don't do that you know everything what is uncomfortable inconvenient brain tell us don't do that and it's our job to control brain i know it takes 66 days for the body to adjust to new habits to be honest i've been doing this for longer than than 66 days but i still have to drag myself out i literally roll to the side put one leg then put another leg and then okay come on you have to do it up so i go 
and yeah, action. That's right. I, I do it as an action. And sometimes I would take the coffee, sit on my bike and think I'm having a coffee here and I'm pedaling. And then before you know it, you're into the uh, training mode and you think you're, gl you're glad you've done it. It's, uh, it's brilliant. Yeah. Uh Absolutely, and I, I would like to say also about the uh, eating, um, it's okay to have one or two days in a week, cheat days. You don't have to be perfect. Again, if you are preparing for competition, you have to be really focused. But if you want to have a healthy lifestyle, treat yourself. If you train hard, if, you, if, if your diet is good, so um, then treat yourself and you can have, let's say Saturday or even Sunday, how, how um, often do you treat yourself a week? Once or twice. Yeah, I would say twice. Weekends usually I have... But do you uh, have uh, two pizzas or uh, three <laughs> McDonald's? <laughs> well, you know, when I, when I have... It has to be minimum 10 pizzas, you know. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I have some cakes, you know. I have sometimes breads and sweets. Um, but you, still, you don't eat much sweets or cakes. I, I know how you treat yourself. Your treating, it's still on dieting for me. <laughs> it's, uh, it's uh, not uh, it. <laughs> You're very uh, conscious uh, what you eat. Even if you're on a treat days, you're still very uh, conscious. So uh, there is another question I've got. What do you think better, cardio for weight loss or weight training? Um, definitely weight training because uh, weight training uh, speeds up metabolism, uh, makes high density of bones, strengthens ligaments, tendons, and uh, metabolically works much better for our bodies, like just cardio. So weight training, if it's not too long, gets us into, into anabolic state. Prolonged cardio gets us into the catabolic state, which means that the cortisol is released and then uh, it's not good for body. Cortisol is good for a short period of time. Uh, our aim is to have higher testosterone for guys and for girls as well. If you want to lose weight and get more defined. Uh, so weight training is definitely more effective and then it's possible to do so many uh, training programs and training exercises with weights. You can do with weights uh, also intervals, so it's a cardio. Uh, for instance, strongman training is fantastic cardio, it's core and stability all included in one. It but strongman, you have to do this uh, chin-ups and not many people can do chin-ups. Muscle up, isn't it called? Muscle ups, yeah. Yeah, uh, you can do them. And it's not many people can do this, but the strongman require a lot of these things. What, what, what would you suggest to them? I would say this is more like a body weight exercises or calisthenics or gymnastics. Strongman is more like a lifting awkward objects. For instance, is the uh, beer bar or uh, could be picking up some stones or pick up someone on your shoulders and moving with it. So everything what is more awkward, like lifting the uh, just dumbbells or, or barbells, which includes more core and requires more energy uh, ex expenditure and it burns more body fat but it's not good to do it all the time so it's good to do it let's say once or once a week or once in two weeks oh. so like, I, I believe in combining of different uh, type of trainings and as you mentioned for instance pull-ups body weight exercises everybody will be able to do it after good preparation so all my clients what I have in the city and most people who, who work like a business professionals that quite inactive, they have a lot of muscle imbalances, very bad posture, but training before used to be just be on some cardio machine and some weight machine. And uh, before we started, I did proper assessment with them and then we started from basics. So first three months usually it was fixing the imbalances and strengthening core stability and uh, building up strength from basics. And then we were adding strength program. Once they got stronger, when they were able to do pull-ups and uh, these more advanced exercises. Thank you, Martin. Thank you. Thank you, thank you myself as well.